The Holy Spirit is not time-bound. Just as it is in the real space. And cannot be limited by time, space, or circumstance. But on the internet is real. Be blessed as you watch life-changing testimonies pouring out through our social media platforms. The power of God is born. Ezekiel 2 verse 2 says, As he has spoke to me, the spirit entered into me. And where the spirit of God is there, there is liberty. My name is Mizue Chukwe Puka. I'm from Anambra State, but I reside here in Lagos. So on Friday, the last communion service before the lockdown, Papa prophesied to me that they want to kill me on the 4th of June the enemies. So he prophesied and delivered me. So after it, we entered into lockdown. Shiva, they just brought this young man from Pete. They, they want him to die on the 4th of June. That's why I came to touch you. He's out of the pit completely. So on April, two weeks to the end of April, 2020, I, I became sick, very, very sick. I went to the pharmacies that I bought typhoid and malaria medicine. So after taking it for, let's say, one week, and I began to regain my, myself. But I found out that I'm, I'm having a severe headache after taking the drugs, severe headache. And, a very big vibration on my head. The vibration started one midnight like that. I woke up. I don't I know myself for, let's say, 40 seconds. I don't know myself. When I, when I got myself, I said, why and I woke up? What is happening to me? I prayed and slipped back again. So the vibration continues. When it continues like that, I know that it's, it's, another, it's not a drug issue again. So. I said, let me call one of the sons of the prophet. I called one of the sons of the prophet. He prayed for me. When he was praying for me, I felt the same vibration again on my head, very, very heavy this time. So the vibration was on my head, from my head down to my body, from my body to my feet. When he reached my feet, the thing just disappeared. When the thing disappeared, I now recover myself again. And that was when the man of God was saying, in Jesus' name, I said, Amen. When I dropped the phone, I found out that the headache had disappeared immediately. But the vibration still continues, but not like that. But after three days, the thing disappeared. Nothing again. So, you know, Papa said on the 4th of June. So, as we entered June, on that 4th, I did not um, go out. Before that time, I have raised a sacrifice. So I did not go out that day at all. So I was staying with my auntie. So my auntie now called me and said, oh, what is happening? You don't go out today. I said, yes, I, I don't want to um, go anywhere today. So he okay, said, let me go outside and check that water is entering from outside in, in, into our compound. Let me check what is happening there. So I went out and after seeing what is happening there, as I was coming back, my auntie was looking at me because she was, and she was out, um, outside. So she was looking at me and saying, what is following you? I did not understand what uh, she was saying. She, she, she repeated it again. What is following you? I did not say anything. So as I came nearer to, uh, to her, she said that as I opened the gate and as I came to, uh, towards her, that there is a sh short spirit, dwarf spirit with two horns following me. And the spirit was pushing me, pushing me, pushing me. And she was and looking at it when I opened the gate. So what is this thing doing? What is this thing doing? Because that my auntie is around 70 something. She's very old. So she said, what is this thing doing? What is this thing doing? When she said, what is this thing that is following you? When she said it the second time, the, the spirit looked at her and disappeared. As she told me and, and this thing, and I, and I opened up and told her that um, 
where I'm going to try that Papa, Dr. Chris Okafo, prophesied to me that they want to kill me on this 4th of June. That is why I now I want that and I, I was in prayer. Because of the deliverance and the altar that is speaking for me, nothing uh, happened to me. Right now, I'm sound, I'm okay, nothing's happening to me. I want to thank the God of Dr. Chris Okafo for what he has done in my life and the life of my family. Thank you, Papa. Every day.